Hi everyone, I am back doing another square on this page. This is from Worlds of Wonder by Johanna Basford and we're going to be doing this little square here today and I'm going to be using Castle Arts pencils again. I used them yesterday for this but I'm going to be using the pastel tint pencils. Now I've been asked to do some work with these so I thought I would do this one but I realised that probably um, people may have wanted like a whole page so we'll see. Um, I'm going to just start here and then um, on another occasion I'm just sorry I'm just having a fiddle and um, on another occasion I may do a whole page with them but uh, let's start with this one now let's try and get it into the center there we go now castle um here's my um swatch chart I just leave it in my vision and just open up my pencils sorry I didn't take them out of the tin because I wanted to just show you the tin so you knew what I was doing so there are different sets of pastel pencils that can be bought um, I have only tried castles and cores k-o-r-e-s cores pencils and I like both equally I should say the cores are a budget brand thing is they don't have names on them which I know some people dislike there's also no greys or browns which I would like um, I'm just trying to decide on what colour to do for my background but I think I am going to do it in the Viridi if I can find it here it is now the Viridi is a sort of bluish greenish turquoisey colour and I rather like it and personally I wouldn't say it was quite a pastel shade but it is in the pastel set and I think it will hopefully make the pastel colours sort of jump out a bit from the background that's my hope but I haven't done a lot of work with pastel pencils I should do more I haven't used these as much as perhaps I should and um, it means that I'm not too experienced at using them but I'm not afraid to have a go and you can have a look and see if you like what I'm doing or not you know as I say this one's quite vibrant and I always feel that pastels should perhaps not be quite this bright but you know that it's pretty so I'm gonna go with it and uh, it's in the pastel set now the thing with pastels is that I find that if you um, try to intensify the colour by layering up it doesn't work this particular pencil might be an exception but if you take a pastel tone normally um, ha if you layer and layer and layer it up it doesn't have the same effect as a regular pencil in increasing the intensity in the same way I think because it's starting off so pale for example when I often do a leaf I will make it darker here and then fade to here just using the same pencil through and it's a nice simple way to get an effect um, on a leaf without having to use a million different pencils but I find with the um, some of the pastel pencils you can't do that when you press down more heavily you don't get a significantly different intensity and it depends on the brand now with these some of them it works if you look at this swatch chart you can see here where I've gone dark more layers here and less here you can really see a difference this is actually the Viridi that I'm using now but if you look at something like the Candy Tuft it's a lot more difficult to see that and these much more paler tones this one for example so although you can get that to some extent I feel it's not as um, obvious as with a regular pencil and so you may have to use a slightly different technique um, with them so maybe using two shades rather than just one and that sort of thing or you know mixing up a few colors perhaps um, so it's just a, a little thing that I have noticed but um, you may not find it to be relevant to the way you colour anyway but uh, it's just worth thinking about depending on your technique also um, I've noticed with these um, particular pencils, the um, castles 
is that they go very work very nicely with the other castles. Um, I, I think it was the gold that I used, the Castle Arts Gold, I'm sure it will work with the um, soft touch as well, that if you mix them together, then you can, they work nicely. So if I want a, um, if I wanted some shadow, say, around these plants, I might take a um, Castle Arts pencil, a more regular pencil in a significantly darker shade and use that for some shadowing, you know, that sort of thing. It, they do work together, which is rather nice because sometimes you don't want a fully pastel picture. You might want some pastel petals, and but you might want a little bit of shading on them, some shadows, or you might want to do pastel petals but not pastel leaves and things like that. And it, it all works together. So, and I'm sure it would work with other brands if you don't have any other castle brands but you have other pencils. I'm sure it would work. I have not found a brand of pencil that doesn't work with another brand. Um, I know some people like to just use their brands on their own and not mix brands, but I think they work well together, a lot of them. I mean, even something like poly polychromos and prismacolors, which are almost opposites in the way that they work, you can still use them together. I have many a time um, in a Chris Chang tutorial video um, where I only had a handful of Prismas, I used Prismas where I could, and then I used Polychromos for the rest, and even though I was layering different brands, it all worked really nicely together. So there's no need to worry about that. Right, background done. Let's get on with some flowers. Now, to me, these two look like they're the same. So I'm thinking same colour. I'm thinking pink. Um, Let's go with the foxglove, it's really pretty. Um, here it is. It's a sort of pure pink, I would say. I don't know how, oh, that didn't help you, sorry. Um, in the sense that it's not an orangey pink, it's just a pinky pink. Okay, I don't know why it seems to be in the wrong place in my, um, thing, in my tin. So I'm just going to try and fade it a bit and see whether it works because it's quite a, yeah, I think it is going to work a little bit. So making it a bit more intense down here and less here. Um, you notice I haven't done the centre. I will do that in another colour or two um, later. I do like to sometimes just do the petals first and then decide on the flower centre colour after. <clears throat> Excuse me. It can be a little bit easier to decide. I don't think I'm going to do too unconventional here. I think I'll probably go for a yellow. But it's whether I go for a brownie yellow or, excuse me, or an orangey yellow. I don't know what's happening to my voice. Maybe I'll have to make this the last video of the day. Sometimes my voice is like, nope, you're not doing any more. I haven't done much today. So, anyway, we'll see. My son will be home. Oh, in about an hour. Yeah, he's... Uh, I need to check on him, actually. He's, he is getting a train, but I think they were running on time. Um, he said he was going to buy a ticket, then go to the station. I would have rather he'd gone to the station and check the trains, then bought a ticket, but... Um, he... Um, oh, yeah, looks like... Oh, yeah, it's on the platform. Not at the, at the station before his, so, and that's the first, um, so it should be leaving in a few minutes, hopefully it'll be alright, yeah, because, uh, but anyway, he should be fine, even if it's running a bit late, he won't mind, he'll be home in time to help with tea, that'd be good, although, I might just throw some food in the oven, just some, throw some food at the oven, hope the door opens and it pops in, <laughs> Always feels like such a lazy tea, but uh, yeah, um, it's. Uh, but I've got some nice um, root veggies, and I might put them into roast and things. Mm. Parsnips, sweet potato, carrots. Nice. We'll see. It's quite cold today. It'd be nice to have something from the oven that's nice and warm. But uh, our fi fridge is really full of loads of veg as well, which is nice, but I'm finding it a hard job to find anything because it's so full. 
But I've got a bit of a relaxing day tomorrow because it's um, both boys are off uni tomorrow. So it means that I don't have to worry about anyone getting the train, having to get up or anything like that. But um, on the other hand, I do have to think about whether I need to remind them to get on with some work and things like that. But we'll see. It's so near the beginning of term, they haven't got many deadlines approaching. But it's quite nice if they can get on and do a little bit early so that they can, you know, don't have to um, have lots of last minute worrying. I've decided that I'm not going to do these two the same colour. Although they look like the same flower, they might not necessarily be the same colour. I quite like to move on to a different colour. I really like this colour, I have to say. But um, let's switch it up a bit. Let's see what other colours we've got going in this um, set. There we go. We've got a much darker pink. Um, I think I might use this pinky purple. This is called Tickle Pink. And it's, you can see it's quite purpley. It's, um, uh, there we go. It's again one of the darker colours. I think it goes well with this, but I think most will, hopefully, hopefully, it will all work. It's actually the greens that are less likely to go with that than anything else because some of the greens are a bit olivey. I think we'll have to avoid those. But we'll see when we get there. Just enjoying doing these petals first. And then we'll move on. But I've um, got lots of petals, so I'm going to do all the petals first, then the centres, then the leaves. So, got a lot to go yet. But uh, it's nice being back in this book. Although I've done two pages from Small Victories in two days, which has been nice. Um, I need to find some more to record for you as well, because... Um, um, coming to the end of, I don't know actually where you're at watching the series of hand tied bouquets which I think are going up in the mornings when this is going up in the afternoon but um, I need to record something after that so that'll be fun. I'm uh, really enjoying, um, enjoying small victories I have to say. Um, I'm sort of doing half it on my own, half it on video, that sort of thing. Um, I've got a few, there's a couple of heart-shaped ones that I'm going to do with you for Valentine's, I think. Uh, that was my plan, anyway. I don't have that many heart-shaped pictures, but I'll see what there is around in other books as well. But I don't know how many people celebrate Valentine's, but on the other hand, it doesn't matter, does it? It's a heart-shaped picture, I can enjoy it any time. So there were those two. Now I'm going to do these two in blue. I'm just looking at the blues. The blue mist is a really pretty blue. Oh, but I'm not convinced it's going to match our background brilliantly well. Because it's slightly purpley. Mm. Let's do the labelia instead. I'm going to have to sharpen this one. Um, for those of you asking, I just use my Stedler Norris Club Sharpener for castles, but occasionally, here you go, Lobelia, occasionally I find they need to go into the um, um, dowel um, hand or crank sharpener just to lift their playing up a bit. I don't know what's going on here, I think that's probably background that I've missed. I'm just going to pop bit in there and there. There we go. It's getting dull now. My parents were on the phone earlier saying how sunny it was. My dad said I'm gonna go for a walk in the sunshine. It's not sunny here. The clouds we had a lot of really black clouds and a lot of the country having snow but we're not forecast it but it was definitely cloudy 
over. It's quite a lot of thick cloud. It's very high though. I don't think it's going to snow. But um, we'll see. It's interesting my Facebook memories come up and it's a lot of snow. 14 years ago we had huge amounts. It's quite interesting to sort of look back. Okay, that's those. I'm not sure what colour to do those sort of seedy bits. I'm going to leave that for now. Now I want something to get orangey and the blushing rose, I think, or the coral blush. I think I use the coral blush actually. There it is. And all those are the same, aren't they? I'm going to do these. I don't know, I just felt like this shape of flower looked like it suited this colour. Probably not making any sense. Never mind. I was just thinking about Johanna Basford and how she started her um, advent calendar in Small Victories and she probably did less than a week before she just couldn't carry on with it anymore. It just shows how life just gets in the way, doesn't it? And up there... I mean, obviously her children are really young as well. I don't think I could have made this many videos if my children were younger. And being in Scotland, the weather is so variable. She might not have always been able to get into the studio with the snow. They're going to get a lot of snow in Aberdeenshire, which is where she is um, at the moment. So, um, yes, the forecast there is quite a lot of snow. Um, I'm going to grab the hydrangea. Again, it's not that pastely but I think this sort of purple would just give us a nice balance of colour so I'm going to do hmm, I could do those two and then those in a different colour I'm going to do try that because they look slightly different and we did those two differently I'll have a think about whether I want I'm going to do these and then look at the balance of colour I might do some yellow although we've got those to do hmm Decisions, decisions. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> We've got some more nice pinks, so I'm tempted to uh, maybe use those. So, you know I'm not a big fan of pink, but I like these subtle pastel-y ones. Particularly that one. It's lovely. But we'll just do this one. This colour and then we'll have a think I'm thinking I might do some bright yellow but I don't know what I've got until I have a stop and look um, let's have a think um, we've got Inca gold which is very gold which I might use for the centres um, we've got a saffron that's quite pale but I'm tempted Tempted by the saffron. I think I'm going to give it a go. It's so I, I can't read it. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, so hard to read. I'm going to do these two in saffron. I think yellow adds a nice balance. I am still trying to fade it a bit towards the tip of the... Uh, off the thing. Just checking on my son if he sent me a message. He usually sends me one when he gets on the train. Actually, train's not due yet, so uh, he won't be. Um, they don't always have Wi-Fi at the station, and even though, even if they do, he he's messaged me to tell me what his plans are, so he wouldn't need to message me again. They're good boys. It's uh, useful knowing what they're up to. And uh, it means I can get the door open for him. He doesn't have to stand on the doorstep freezing when he gets nearby. Right, so I've got these. And as I say, we've got more pinks. I could use the amaryllis. The carnation, actually, is quite a different sort of pink. Yeah, I can do that. Where is that? Is it that one? Yes. There's quite a... Um, is carnation it's quite a sort of I would say dirty pink some people whoops would probably say no dusky pink but, you know. 
each to their own. It's a little bit almost orangey. But I have been picking slightly darker, more vibrant pastel tones. A little bit easier to deal with, I guess. Okay, now this one, I've decided that those seedy bits are going to do in a dark um, blue, well, darker. So I'm going to use this Larkspur. I think it's a sort of grey blue and I think it will just work. Yeah, happy with that. And then I can think about the middles. There we go. So I'm going to use the Inca Gold. I'm just going to give it a little sharp and it's a bit blunt. So here it is, Inca Gold. And this one is still not sharp and very vibrant. So I'm going to try to use it gently because I want to use a second colour in the centre. So go around the edge. It's not about intensity. I'm quite happy with it being quite intense, but I want to make sure that I leave some space for another colour. So that's where it gets a little bit tricky, especially where we've got a very small space. I may not be able to pull it off, but I'll give it a go. Around the edge, just scumble it in a little bit. They're all quite small, aren't they? I've been working in small victories, so compared to that, they're not that small. There we go. And then, oh, no, <laughs> he's. I forgot those last time as well, almost. Okay, and now I want, um, hmm. I think I'm going to use the Almond Rose. It looks very slightly orangey, which I think will work with this gold shade. We'll see. It's this almost brownish colour. I'm just going to go right over the top. Right, now our leaves. Now I'm looking at the greens. I'm going to bring them into shot actually. So on my swatch charts you can see them. So we've got, um, starting here, that's quite yellowy. You can't see. So I don't think it's going to work with our, this colour. I think the cowslip will work. So I'm going to grab that one out. Um, the sunflower is too, these two are too yellowy. Um, but the daylily and the savannah should be okay. Oh, they're not in the right places. Oh, wow. oh. Daylily, savannah, and then across it, I think the bayberry and the angelica will be fine. The green flower is a little bit too bright, and these two, oh, the lime, these two I think look quite fluorescent. So I've got five there. Don't worry, don't worry about trying to remember what they are. I will go through what I'm using in a minute. So we've got five. Um, is that Angelica going to, no, I think that's okay. So I'm going to start with the Angelica and I'm going to use that for the leaves on this one, but also the leaves on this one because they look like the same plant. And although I've done them different colour petals, I think we can do them the same colour leaves. I'm going to try to fade a little bit, but 
these greens are rather pale and I want to not leave any white. You can if you want, it's just not the effect I'm looking for today. I've not done it on any of the others either. I'm also thinking I'm not going to do any white dots on this page probably, just on this picture, not on this page. Obviously I've already done some on this page. I'm just thinking I'm not sure how well they'll show up on top of these paint, faint pastely colours. You really need quite a defined bold colour to get it to show up. So I'm um, thinking no, not on this one. So I can't remember who it was that asked for pastel pencils but um, I will do some more as well. Oh I think I remember who it was but I'm not going to say in case I get your name wrong. <laughs> There we go. So that's our first screen. Oops, we have got now. I'm going to use the day lily and I'm going to use it down here in this corner. Oh, it's so faint. I'm going to have to really build up a few layers to get that showing up. But that's okay. we go. Then I have a bayberry. I'm going to go into this corner and use it on these. Again, this one's a little more vibrant. I might be able to fade it a little bit towards the tip of each leaf. There. I think it works with the background. Might have been better off doing a blue background, but just like the colour. I think you should use the colours you like. I used to be a bit scared of using the colours I like because then I'd use them up. But now I'm like, just use the colours you like. This is Savannah. Um, I'm going to use it on the purple flowers. Because although um, the yellow and purple look like the same plant and in theory I could do them the same like I did these two. I've got another green so I'm going to use the other green on the yellow. Why not? Oh, my feet are getting cold. I think we're getting to that time of day when it's starting to get a bit cold. Um, cowslip. Oh, my son's just said the train is here and it's pretty empty. It's because um, I let him know that the train had less carriages and uh, so I said it might be busy and there were no seat reservation but he says it's pretty empty I think they tend to be at this time of day but they use the same ones through so once it gets to rush hour I might get busy you know I'm looking at this thinking I do want to try some white dots um, they may not work I'm just going to experiment with them really so I'm just going to go around the centre of each on top of the black and then they'd be more likely to show up. I just think white dots make things look pretty. And I just hope that they show up a little bit. I think they do. We'll just work them through and see what happens, really. If they don't show up, we've not lost anything. Well, a bit of time, but you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to do too much. I think it, yeah, I like it. And then just a couple more. Now in the background of all of these, there are dots um, that Johanna's drawn. And in some of them, the first two of these I did, I actually went over the dots in a Posca pen. And then I didn't do it for the rest because I didn't realise that I'd done it. I forgot. And looking at it now, I'm going to put the dots on these. I'm wondering whether I should have continued with that. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure what colours I would have done. Like for this one, I've got probably white. For the purple one, I would have had to have done a purple. 
Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, it doesn't matter. I'm quite happy not having them all exactly the same. So there is our pastel toned flower square. So I hope that was okay. I think it looks rather sweet. Um, so that's good. Um, all done. I'm hoping to get the rest done, um, you know, in quite quick succession. As I said before, it depends what crops up. But um, I'm hoping that um, we can get this page finished and another whip completed, maybe before the end of the month. Maybe. Yeah, we should. I don't know. I don't know because I've got completed pages. I've got some. Maybe not because I've got planners to do and things like that. We'll have to see. But uh, it won't be too long anyway. So thank you so much for watching anyway. Have a super day. And happy colouring. <laughs>